Is Chris Cuomo too dumb to check facts? Hi, thanks for watching. Today is Friday, Fact Check Friday, and I have got a great one for you today. It deals with everyone's favorite fact checker, Chris Cuomo, over at CNN. Now, he gets paid the big bucks to stand in front of a teleprompter and read on CNN, and he does a fact-checking segment. And so I'm going to check what he did, and let's see if he's actually good at his job. But he makes a lot of claims. We're not going to be able to go through the entire video. Uh, we'll, we'll just go a little bit into it. But let's get to the video. Here we go. Now, the main stick they're swinging four separate conspiracy theories, all of which have been debunked. First up, maybe Russia didn't hack the DNC. Ukraine did. Okay, right off the bat, what I always try to do when I am checking facts is you first need to decide what the claim is so that then you can judge the claim. In this case, Chris Cuomo, the first thing that he's checking is, the claim is maybe Russia didn't hack the DNC, Ukraine did. So that is the claim that we are going to check today. And let's see how we did. The president brought this up in a phone call with the Ukrainian president. The notion is demonstrably false. How? Every intel chief there is saying the same thing. Wasn't Ukraine. Okay, he makes this claim that every intel chief is saying the same thing, and he has three different quotes on the screen from different intelligence chiefs. Well, guess what? We can actually pause and look at those quotes, and we can look them up and find out if they have anything to do with the DNC or Ukraine. <laughs> Spoiler, they don't. So the first quote on the screen is from FBI Director Christopher Wray. And it says that Russia attempted to interfere with the last election and continues to engage in malign influence operations to this day. Now, this comes from the presidential daily briefing, August 2nd, 2018. And I decided to watch the entire briefing. He did not mention at all Ukraine. He did not mention at all the DNC. None of that was mentioned whatsoever. But here Chris Cuomo is speaking to you, the viewer, with this quote on the screen as some kind of evidence to back him up. Well, this quote has nothing to do with the DNC. That brings us to the second quote, and that is, in 2016, Russia conducted an unprecedented influence campaign to interfere in the U.S. electoral and political process. That's by Dan Coates, who's the Director of National Intelligence. Well, I looked up that speech as well, and this came on June 8, 2018, at the Atlantic Council in Normandy, France. And guess what this speech had to do with? It had to do with Russian influence in social media. It had nothing to do with the DNC being hacked. And that brings us to the third quote on the screen behind Chris Cuomo, which is from uh, McMaster. Now, this quote is from Munich in February of 2018. And in this quote, guess what? He's not talking about the DNC either. He's talking about the indictment of 13 Russians, and that indictment had to do with influence. It had nothing to do with the DNC. In fact, he also never mentioned the DNC in that speech. So far, you're doing a great job, Chris. Let's keep going. Ditto for an investigation by Senate Republicans. It was in Ukraine. Now, here he brings up the Senate Intelligence Report about this indictment. That's what it was about. It was about the indictment of these Russians. Guess what wasn't in that report? Because I downloaded the file 
and went through every single page. Well, I, I did a, a search. But there's not one mention of the Democratic National Committee, DNC, or anything related to it whatsoever. So that's another fail. Mueller spent 30 pages detailing how Russia did it. Now, he finally brings up something that actually mentions the DNC, which is the Mueller report. But he doesn't give any details from it. And there can be a much longer discussion about the Mueller report and whether that backs him up or not. But finally, he's brought up something that actually mentions the DNC. But here's how he makes his point. So who says Ukraine, Trump allies, and this guy? Do you know, for example, that in Ukraine, following the elections, some people, and these were public officials, sent congratulatory telegrams to Hillary Clinton, even though Trump had won. Look, what do we have to do with it? You have everything to do with it, except the president doesn't believe that. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, so he plays a, a video clip of Putin. This has nothing to do with it. And Putin has denied any responsibility. Whether you want to believe him or not, well, that's another matter. But this, this video clip doesn't prove anything. Now he's going to talk about the server at the DNC. Now, the server. Where's the server? There never was a server. Hold on. He just said that there never was a server? Expand on that for me, Chris. The DNC used a cloud-based email system. So he's saying that the DNC didn't even have a server. Well, that's news to the DNC and everybody else that's ever reported on this. In fact, uh, NBC talked about how the DNC decommissioned 140 servers because of the fear uh, that they were broken into. In fact, one of those servers they have on display at the DNC headquarters in DC, right next to a filing cabinet that was broken into at Watergate. CrowdStrike is the company the FBI hired to make a copy and analyze it for them. Wait a sec. He just said that CrowdStrike was hired by the FBI? Absolutely not true. CrowdStrike was definitely hired by the DNC and they made a copy of the servers, a copy of the DNC server. They made an image and gave that copy to the FBI. The FBI never actually looked at the servers themselves, but they did look at a forensic image of the server that was taken at that time by CrowdStrike. Again, CrowdStrike was hired by the DNC, not the FBI, like Chris Cuomo is saying right here. CrowdStrike, by the way, is based in California. One of the co-founders was born in Russia, not Ukraine, and he moved to the U.S. as a teenager. Conspiracy theory number two. So the co-founder is not Ukrainian, but who cares? What does that have to do with anything? And does that somehow prove all of this that Chris Cuomo is saying? Now, I've just got to stop the video right here and let's do a little review. Chris Cuomo, CNN's fact checker, <laughs> put out the claim, right? The claim is maybe Russia didn't hack the DNC, Ukraine did. That's the claim. Maybe Russia didn't hack the DNC. And to prove this, he put up Three different quotes from leading intelligence uh, people that had nothing to do with the DNC. He then talked about the Senate Intel report that had nothing to do with the DNC. Now, he did mention the Mueller report, but remember, there were no allegations that any of this had any change on the outcome of the election. There is no allegation in the indictment that the charge conduct altered the outcome of the 2016 election. And he ended by making the outlandish claim that the server didn't exist and that CrowdStrike was hired by the FBI. 
both of which are totally false. So the question, is Chris Cuomo too dumb to be a fact checker? Well, as an expert myself, being the world's greatest fact checker, to me, it looks like he may be a little too dumb. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Peace. Thank you.